Have you ever wanted to splash this on your 3DS when you power it on, kind of like this video up on screen? Well, I know how to do it, so just follow the step-by-step -step guide. What you want to do first is you want to power off your Nintendo 3DS system. You'll tell when the system's off once the LEDs turn off. Once you've done that, you want to take off any protective covers, and you want to take out any game cards or any styluses in the system, and you want to unscrew the back. Or if you have an older 3DS model, you can just open the hinge on the side. The way to get the back off of the new 3DS XL is by seeing these little tab wedge thingy nubs, or whatever little edges. You want to use your fingernail, and you want to get in and pick at that. Or, but you want to pry it back with your fingernail or the stylus, doesn't matter. Once you got your SD card out, you want to put it in an adapter if it's in a, uh, if it's a micro SD card, or if you don't have an SD card adapter, and you want to plug that into your computer. Now that you have the files up, you want to just minimize that. Then you want to go to your browser and you want to head to this site called Themes Plot. You want to head to the Theme Plaza website. Just do a quick Google search. There should be something right here where you can switch it over to splashes. Now you just look for the splash you want. Let's say we want this one and we just have to... All we have to do is click the download button. And download that to our computer. Now that you have the SD card and the splash you want, you want to scroll down in the SD card till you find something above themes called splashes. You want to take your splash and you want to drag it into the splashes folder as a zip file. Then you want to put your SD card back into the system. Once you have the SD card back in your system, you want to boot up your system and go to an enemy. When you're in an enemy, you'll see a T in the top right corner of the touch screen. You want to click that and it will turn into an S. This will show you all of your splash screens. So then you can scroll down to the one that you want and you can just press A. Now that you've done all those, you'll be able to see a splash screen the next time you boot up your 3DS.